John and Linda's fashions for AM Buffalo are supplied by Steinmart on Transit Road, Amherst. Be sure to shop both Steinmart locations, Amherst and Orchard Park. Welcome back to the show, everyone. No job is too big or too small for Ivy League construction. Some might say the guy that runs the place is a little on the large side. But we <laughs> welcome Big Mike Washington in from Ivy League. Good to see you this morning, my Good friend. Good to see you again. Thanks for having us back. You're more than welcome. And I want to tell you, I drove into work this morning, and the way I came this morning was along Delaware Park and Nottingham Terrace. And right out in front of one of those big homes that overlooks the park was a big Ivy Lee truck. Yep, we got one of our projects going over there today. Moving on up to the uptown. Sure, there. sure, <laughs> doing a couple of bathrooms there. That's great. That's great. And didn't you say you're doing something with uh, that employs a, a crane or a yeah, hoist? Yeah, we, we have a crane lift going today actually at the Park Lane building that uh, we're actually doing a full uh, home remodel there uh, on the seventh floor. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, like I said, never too big or too small. Staying busy. So, what do you want to talk about this morning? You've been working out in some attics. I yes, understand. we've been doing a lot of work in the attics, uh, insulation, windows, doors, air sealing. Um, really trying to save some people some money. These uh, fuel yeah. bills that people are starting to get finally, and next month they're going to be extremely high. We really oh, want to yeah. try to help people out. And how do you save some energy in your home? Well, we've certainly had the weather that uh, is going to precipitate a question like that. How can I save some money? on my fuel for sure we're really here to help you um, these are some pictures here that we yeah, actually tell us, take foam. us through these what we're looking at yeah this is um, some installs for some foam now this is uh, the Cadillac of insulation uh, does two properties it has air sealing properties and then it also has uh, the insulation air value so if you can control the air movement in your home and that's one of the big problems and one of the big uh, complaints we get when people call us my house is too drafty around the windows the walls how do we stop that and it's not just insulation always it's also air sealing uh, and Foam insulation can actually do both of those things. Well, what do you do about an attic that has, as my attic does, it's unfinished. The sure. floor is finished, but the, the there's nothing sealing the rafters or anything. But at each end of the attic is a, a square opening with a grill work sure. that, that is open to the outside. So sure. when you insulate an attic, do you seal those up? You close uh, it, those up? it depends on the application. Like uh, Something like that, you're usually going to seal the floor and try to seal up the floor and then dense pack or cellulose insulation and not yeah. use foam in that application. Okay. But every house is so different. Uh, the biggest thing is have us come out. We'll do diagnostic testing on your house, blower door. We'll check the CAD zone, do some diagnostic on your furniture, hot water tank uh, to make sure the CO levels, there's no back drafting no CO coming into your home, uh, carbon monoxide. Uh, also, how do we stop the air movement in your house? There's a lot of planes in the basement that we need to seal, and then all the way up to the attic to seal also to stop uh, um, chaseways from, from uh, talking to one another. Uh, we, we like to talk. We want to keep the air not moving up through walls, creative conductive loops oh, in wow. walls that you're not even aware of. Never even thought of ever so often. Uh, in my, my, I have an older home, and you know, on the back kitchen wall, there's a wall switch that controls an inside light and the outside light. And every sure. so often I go to turn on one of those lights and it's real cold around yeah. that f that wall R plate. Real common yeah. occurrence between outlets, uh, uh, between switches. Uh, another a real big one, if you have recessed lighting in your house, um, very nice looking, but it can be a huge drain on your energy that you don't really realize. Wow. And we have several applications that we can really seal those up and insulate around them uh, to, to, to stop the drafts. Okay. Yeah. Are there different degrees of this foam that you put in the attics, or is there basically just one kind? There's a bunch of different types of foam we'll, we'll, we'll put in. Uh, there's open cell, there's closed cell. Um, we'll also employ some air sealing, and cellulose also does a real good job, too, which uh, uh, small applications of foam around uh, little holes, top planes of walls. Okay. Um, All right, now we're a, looking at one right here. Okay. This is a rim joist. This is actually down in the basement. If you notice, that's a concrete wall low you're looking at. Yes. And then where the floor joist is above, that's a big place in basements that there's a huge heat loss. There's no insulation there usually, or it's fiberglass. The problem with fiberglass, oh, yeah. we call it filter glass, it lets air move through it. Again, you're not controlling the air movement. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. And that's the stuff you spray on, it's almost liquid like, and then instantly it just balloons out. It does, it is. It's I, a two part mix. I was on job mix. you guys one time and watched this. Yeah, yeah, it's a two part mix. It's an A and a B, and once those two parts come together, it actually hardens and fills everything out. I want to recall a segment I did with you last fall. We ran the segment like two days before Christmas, this past Christmas, where you outfitted a veteran's home. Yes. So that everything was on one floor. 
And that bathroom was just amazing. And yeah. the fact you put the laundry in, in its own secluded little area. There was Nick Pelosi, uh, and there's good news to report on him. He's actually engaged. I talked to him last week, just check and see how everything Way was going go, with Nick. him. Way to go, Nick. Congratulations. Yeah. You, you uh, went to the right guy for the job you had done. That bathroom was just amazing. I've never seen a shower that did not require doors or sure. uh, shower curtains or anything. Sure. But it, it's all the way the floor Everything is, was tapered in the floor yeah. system. Uh, that way it was ready for him. Uh, if there's any problems with ADA compliance, he could get in. There's five foot circles everywhere. He would be able to get in there if he ever ended up in a chair. Yeah. And we also employed uh, uh, two part foam in his walls and in his, in his attic there yeah. uh, to stop the air movement in his new addition. And, and could get to the back deck right off of oh, his sure. bedroom and then sure. a ramp down to the street. It was just amazing what you did. Well, folks, uh, the big question is what can I do to save on my energy? You can call Ivy Lee Construction and this guy or one of his uh, well trained people will come out and take a look and tell you exactly what you need done. Ivy Lee Construction at 440 Northwood Drive in Tonawanda, 875-8654. Online, Ivy Lee Construction.